Hey guys, Jason here. So, uh, last week Richard and I built these side panels and we got those up and that helps keep some of the wind out of the greenhouse. You can see we still have gap down there that we have to fill and I'm thinking I might just use um, like hay bales or straw bales for this year and put them on the inside of the greenhouse just for this year and then we'll figure something out for next year but that'll uh that'll seal up this gap if I put straw bales or something along that edge and then so that'll help seal up that and we have it set up so that we could take these panels off so we can take them off in the summertime so that we get better wind flow in the summertime so anyway that's that that's the greenhouse pretty cool in here almost done oops got some bark in there anyway uh, so today I was working on the wood chip and smoothing it out and making our parking area bigger so it doesn't get all muddy and I'll move the rest of that back to the garden before it starts raining again we're going to make this wood chip all the way underneath the RV and all the way back towards the garden there you can see here where I was going back and forth because I moved a lot of it back on the cornfield so we'll follow this tractor road and uh, show you what I was doing earlier today yeah, it's getting kind of muddy back here, so I've got to smooth this out and reseed it. That's all right. So anyway, I'll put the rest of that wood chip in the garden bed here, as much as I can cover with it, and uh, that'll rot down in the winter time and turn to nice dark soil. And we might till it in, in the spring. I don't know. Anyway, back here, come, I came through here with all this wood chip, and I put it up in the cornfield here. Gotta, so I'll let this rot down and uh, this winter, and then I'll till it up in the spring, probably around June. And uh, that should give me some better soil for my corn. And then next year, I think, back in this area, I think I'm going to put a pumpkin patch in here somewhere. And then uh, I'll just put all the pumpkins back here. And I want to try to grow some of those really big pumpkins. Um, those like 300 pounders or more. <laughs> It'll be kind of cool. So, uh, the last video I did, I was smoothing out back here behind the dirt pile. And, uh, show you how that turned out turned out all right um, I got to move some more of this dirt and fill in some of the um, some of the low spots and stuff but here we go so you see it smooths out pretty nice in here and then uh, yeah so got to get some more grass seed back in here I'm gonna do that today and then uh, you see it's starting to really turn out nice in here and we got these burn piles that burn pile and that burn pile we'll put stuff from that onto that after we get that one going because that one's got all the big stumps and stuff in it and so there we go no water flowing not yet I'm going to get a little more grass seed out here. And then, uh, but it's starting to grow. Yep, that was all blackberries just last year. You remember I got my tractor stuck and that was about right in that area. Right in there. But, yep, now all that area is all cleaned out. So hopefully we can keep it cleaned out keep it mowed. It's smooth enough now that we can mow it. 
Yep, so I'll get some grass seed back around the burn, or the dirt pile there and let that start growing. And burn pile and stumps and stuff. We have one heck of a bonfire here. So, yeah, that's kind of what I'm working on today. I'm going to plan on putting another row of raspberries out here. So it'll be like raspberries and crescent berries, and then uh, or currant berries or whatever they're called. And then I'll have an area out here where I can just have um, pumpkins. And then I'll put other melons down in that garden bed down there. So walk on tractor road. Actually, let's go around the back side. And we can look forward. We've still got some zucchinis and pumpkin or squashes and stuff growing and peppers and some it's still going. It's pretty cool. But yeah, so hopefully we get some more wood chip and we'll fill out the rest of that garden bed and stuff. So we'll go up here around the back side. And I just mow this. I probably could do a mow on it again. But that, yeah, Let's see some zucchinis, some squashes, and more squashes growing from those. We planted those pretty late in the season, so we didn't get a whole lot of squash off of them, but we did get some, so that was pretty cool. And my pumpkin still grow, or my watermelon, <laughs> but I don't think it's going to do anything this late in the season. Up in here, we got a beehive back in here. Ooh, there goes a bee. Yeah, back in here, there's a beehive. So, I don't know what to do about that. Just don't mess with them. Bees flying around. So they'll probably be okay as long as we don't mess with them. Hmm. So anyway, yeah, we'll uh, eventually I'll get this all cleared up and move my garden bench thing here, and then I'll have an area where I can drive all the way through with the tractor. So instead of driving over there with the tractor. I'll be driving back here on the back side of the um, RV so I can drive all the way through and all the way through here with the tractor. And that'll be a lot better. That keeps the tractor road out of the yard. <laughs> but for right now, we're just doing, I'm just yeah, driving down there. It doesn't matter. But yeah, eventually the tractor road will be up here. Yeah, let's go take a look at the pumpkins real quick. Um, here's the back side of the greenhouse. And my solar and wind, and eventually we're going to build another greenhouse back here that's all enclosed and grow all year round. And we'll put the solar and stuff on top of it. So that's the plan anyway, eventually, when we get to it. Slowly, but surely. A little bit of stuff here and there. Come back here, look at this other garden bed. This is the one that has pumpkins in it right now. And some squash and stuff. And next year I'm going to change this to just melons, I think. I'm not sure. But yeah, we got pumpkins in there. They're not super big, but... They'll make good jack-o'-lanterns. It's still growing. And then a whole bunch of these crooked neck squashes. I don't know what to do with them all. 
Hey man, here's some zucchini again. Still growing. Yeah. Some cucumbers that we haven't used yet. Oh, and I think <laughs> my honeydew melon, I think that's done. This, Rachel made a whole bunch of pumpkin stuff. This is the sugar baby pumpkins or something like that, or sugar pie pumpkins. They're made for making pies. And, uh, yeah, she did a whole bunch of bread and pies and stuff with these. So that turned out good. And it, it's a good pumpkin for that. So, yeah. All right, well, and then here we are in the orchard. And my tractor up here. Yeah. So I get out there and start moving the other wood chip. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Um, talk to you guys later. Okay, bye-bye.